Hey guys, this is Brandy. Um, on Free Photography Resources, I've been getting a, a couple of requests on how to show how I've edited this picture. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the before picture. It's obvious that my white balance was off. Um, uh, the greenery was very, very green. Um, but in the after picture, I made it look more, you know, fallish, a little bit more warm. Um, someone even said that it looked more angelic so i'm going to show you guys how to achieve this look so the first thing that i do in lightroom is i crop it crop my image um a lot of people would prefer to crop their image last which is totally okay it doesn't matter when you do it to me it doesn't but i do mine at the beginning so all i want to do is straighten her out let's see I get very particular on this part so let's see it looks pretty good yeah I think that's fine and I'm gonna grab my eyedropper tool and I noticed that the pavement of course is gray but I'm gonna go for a little bit more of a uh, lighter gray which is right back here I'm gonna click and hmm, that didn't do much of anything so I'm gonna up my temperature until I'm satisfied. But I think 64, 100 would be perfect. There we go. And I'm gonna up the tint to add more magentas. So that looks fine. Uh, in this image, uh, I'm satisfied with my exposure. When I look at my histogram, uh, it says that it's slightly underexposed, but I think that's because of all the dark greenery. Um, when I look over here to the right, um, it's not overexposed at all. So I'm just going to keep that how it is. So that's all I'm going to do over here. So I'm going to scroll on down, scroll, 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 and come to the lens correction area. Um, I always apply the lens correction uh, to my images because I use a 35 millimeter uh, lens and I don't want you know any distortion in my images so I'm gonna click enable profile corrections and that kind of like stretches out the image a bit I'm satisfied with that and I'm gonna go down here to effects highlight priority I'm going to lower the amount and what that does is it darkens the edges around the image uh, it gives it a vignette so when applying a vignette, remember that less is more, but if you want to do more, that's fine. If you want to do even less than what I'm going to do, that's totally fine. It just depends on your editing style. And that, that looks kind of good. It looks fine. Up to 24. And the midpoint is exactly what it says. So I'd like for her to look like she's in the spotlight, but I don't want it to be too much. I'm looking over here where her boots are. I'm going to try to stop like right at the edge of her boot. Right there seems pretty good. <clears throat> and the roundness, I'm satisfied with the roundness actually. I think it's totally fine. And the feather is at 50 and I'm actually going to up that to about 62. I think it's good. And that's all I'm going to do in Lightroom. So now I'm going to move this image over to Photoshop. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to go over, over here and make an adjustments layer and select selective color. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to change the greens to more of a fallish type look. So I'm going to add, you know, more magenta into it and um, probably a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to go to my yellows. I'm going to up the magenta and already, as you can see, it's making it look much, much better, more fallish. And I just want to play with the sliders. So if I lower the yellow, it turns weird, like purple. I'm not going to use that. And I'm not going to up it either because I don't like how vibrant that's looking. So I'm going to put that on zero for now. And let's play with the blacks. I like how it darkens it. That looks good. And now I'm going to go to my greens. 
up my magenta. Let's see. That looks good. Let's see what yellow does here. Yeah. About 20. Let's do 25. I'm just going to type it in. And I'm going to see what the blacks does here. Let's put it on, I guess, six. I'm going to look at a before and after, before, after. And that looks much, much better to me. And usually if I'm uh, editing a whole session with this look, I literally go to the first image that I edited and copy and paste the settings that I applied so that my... Uh, so that it's consistent in every image. Okay, so I already have a layer mask here and I'm going to use a soft black brush set at 100% opacity to brush off her skin. So I'm gonna select B for my brush. Opacity is already at 100%. I'm gonna zoom in a tad. Just gonna start brushing it off. So I'm going to click my backslash key again. Let's go back to the normal viewing mode, I guess you can say. And I'm going to look at before, after. And that looks great. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the leaves on the ground and, you know, the little colors in the trees here pop a bit more. So I'm going to Make another adjustment layer and click Selective Color. And I'm going to go to my yellows. I'm going to up the magenta a tad bit. So, up it. Now to rise. Just type in 20. You can always lower the opacity. Always tend to forget that. And my yellow, I'm going to up a tad. Let's see. And that looks good. Now I'm gonna invert that. I kind of like what it did. It looks even more fallish. Okay, invert that. And now I'm gonna use a soft white brush at 100% opacity. I'm just gonna brush over the leaves. So, before, after, before, after. That looks pretty good to me. Let's see. I'm going to up the magenta a little bit more. I'm going to erase it from up here at a lower opacity. Okay, and that's pretty much all I do. So I'm gonna take this back to Lightroom. File, save. There we go. It looks adorable. I'm gonna scroll all the way back up here, and I forgot to add contrast. So I'm gonna up my contrast a bit. 
going to go up to 10. That looks much better. I like how it darkened this area over here and add a little bit more contrast to her skin. So let's see the before and after. Before. Well, this is actually the before. After. Before. After. I hope this tutorial helped you guys in some way. Bye.